Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Soul Sacrifice on the Sony PlayStation Vita. So we're now moving on to the next chapter in the beginning of the end, and it's chapter 4. Now you'll notice here that I've already completed this chapter, and the reason I'm doing this now is because this boss was pretty hard, or at least I found it quite hard, and I wanted to film it when I was more used to the attacks and knew the weaknesses and stuff. So let's get started with the storyline. Okay, so let me just take you through the spells that I'm taking into this quest. So first of all, I am using stone, um, well trying to use stone, but I don't actually have a lot of stone spells because her weakness is stone. You can see that they're not fully upgraded here, so they're not that powerful. But I'm using an a attack morph and a attack weapon stone spell. I'm also taking a shield with me and I'm taking two ranged attacks with me. One of those is the pre-order bonus DLC, the Spirit's Blightstone. Um, I'm also taking a healing spell with me as well that is my most powerful healing spell. Now when it comes to sigils, um, I am boosting up my stone spell, stone surge. Um, and I'm also going to boost up my shock and I've got weapon magic amp and homing magic amp and attack and defense amp um, I've recently just done a bit of leveling up on my life so unfortunately the second effects of these two sigils have just disappeared off unfortunately but we'll see how it goes anyway so let's get started The girl in my arms spoke to me. She told me she'd learned the truth of her genesis and descended into madness. Perhaps her mother is to blame for this bloodlust. I still hear her voice. I have heard it every day since. Satisfying her desires is my only duty now. Now, I will say, don't expect Magusar to be helpful in this because he's absolutely crap. He dies constantly. Like, the last time I fought her, he died like four times in the long quest. I kid you not. So he is pretty useless other than being cannon fodder. So, let's get started on this quest. See her weakness is stone. Okay, so she's got a few different forms. She's got this form, and she mostly just fires off um, elemental attacks towards you. One of her most dangerous attacks is the lightning attack. You can tell what element she's going to use by the spinning balls that float around her when she's attacking. See, so she's using ice there. 
Okay, this is one of her more dangerous forms. She can rush towards you really, really quickly and um, deal quite a bit of damage to you, especially if she manages to petrify you. She hasn't done her most deadly attack yet, which is horrible. Which is that one, actually. I pretty much drink that. She can summon these snake-like tentacles up from the ground. Um, they're easy to dodge if you can see her casting it, but unfortunately my camera was spam round the other direction. Um, but there will be black dots that appear on the floor, and you've just got to dodge out of the way of those, basically. Yeah, you've got to watch out for these little spiders because they can lock you in their spider webs and it can be quite a pain in the ass. Move out my goddamn way. Luckily I've got quite high defence now, so she's not doing too much to me. Yeah, you need to be careful of being shocked by that lightning attack. If it hits you twice in a row, it can be quite pro problematic. Oh. 
Okay, she's quite low on health now. Oh yeah, if she's trying to petrify you, if you enter mine's eye when she's doing that, your eyes are closed so it won't actually hit you. Um, so that's really handy to know. just came out of mine's eye as soon as she did that. Okay, I need to run away. around here. I'm going to renew my offerings. She's close to dying now. I'm going to use my flat right now. Take this. Of course, my guitar probably isn't attacking. I can't see him attacking, which is the prime time to attack when I'm using this particular black right, but no. Ah, oh, there we go. One hit kill at the end. Nice. So that went a lot quicker than my last fight against her um, this time. I think it took me like half an hour, but then I've done a bit of levelling since i um, ready to film this new episode for you guys. So yeah, um, 
before we move on so my tips are of course bring stone because she's weak to stone and um, bring a shield because some people did suggest bringing a spell that um you know for dodging but i found that if you use that she just keeps rushing at you um, and she'll just easily catch up to you and your spell will run out so you won't be able to dodge and you won't be able to cast a new one so it's easier to just bring a shield and then she'll change target or she'll just stand there and do an attack so it leaves her open so i recommend bringing a shield stone and just any other spell you feel like but definitely um healing now i will say that i struggled against her when i was two levels lower on my save so those extra two levels have really made this quest a lot more easy um, so yeah, just check out what saviour level I was um, on this video in the top corner, basically. So yeah, let's move on and see the rest of this storyline for this chapter. Ah, I see, I see. Very bloody dark story, isn't it? <laughs> Okay guys, well I'll stop this episode here. You've been watching Gadget Girl Kylie. This has been my Let's Play of Soul Sacrifice on the Sony PlayStation Vita. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you next time guys.